Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to do this typo spiral in Illustrator. First thing, make sure that you're on the stroke. So this is the stroke. Click on the stroke and make sure that you're on a black. I'm going to select black. Click on the fill and click on the none and click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. Select the circle. Usually the rectangle tool is on the top. Select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift plus alt and scale it up. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and delete the bottom anchor point. From here, click on the typo, select the type and make sure that you're on the fill. Right now we're on the stroke, click on swap fill and stroke and click here where you're gonna start and I'm gonna rename this and scale it down a little. And I'm gonna press Control R. So here you can see the ruler, I'm gonna long click on the ruler, drag it down and drag it where the letter P is. So as you can see, it ends at the P and it didn't end at the end. So I'm gonna double click to the P. From here, I'm gonna press and hold Alt and click the right arrow, click, click, click until you're gonna see it gonna adjust itself. So this is, and this is equal. Okay, we're gonna make a copy, press and hold Alt, drag it down, press Shift also. Press and hold Shift and rotate it. And now press and hold Shift and pull it back. So they might intersect somewhere around here. We need to double check it. So I'm gonna create another circle. And we're gonna position. I'm gonna check where is this intersection point, see if it worked. It didn't. I'm gonna make a bigger circle. So this is it. And I'm gonna drag this a little bit more down somewhere around here and now I gonna work with this circle actually I'm gonna select both of the text uh, select this one press and hold shift select the second one and press ctrl G so this way you group it click on the circle press and hold shift plus alt scale it a little bit more up and swap it here so it's going to be in the stroke make sure that it's somewhere in the middle of the typo and increase the stroke weight somewhere out here okay now i'm gonna select the stroke right click arrange and send it back okay select the typo recolor it to white it's gonna look something like this. Select all of them, right click group. And from here, we're gonna go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. I'm gonna increase the copies to 10 at least and decrease the horizontal. And we're gonna create this really cool effect. And now I also gonna decrease somewhat the vertical a little bit, not too much. I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna leave it to 100% and I'm gonna change the angle. Click OK. And you know, this is how you combine these text typo effects in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.